Sometimes when we're doing calibrations on our ADOS systems, it's gonna require a couple additional steps. Maybe something you didn't know or didn't realize, such as the case for Ford. Anytime you replace a module on a Ford that is ADOS related, you're going to need to perform some special steps to be able to tell the vehicle that you replaced it and essentially the vehicle knows I have that module again. If you do not do this, you can create an additional problem that wasn't there before that could cost you serious time and diagnostics on just something you didn't know about. That's what we're gonna show you next. This procedure can be found in a couple different areas on the ADOS link. You can find it in special tests and you can also find it in your ADOS calibration. And since we're going to go ahead and show you the programming of the camera, I'm selecting ADOS calibration. I'm going to select the camera in here. We have our camera calibration, but we also have two other choices. We have PMI manual configuration, and we also have programmable module installation. We're gonna select the latter of those three right now and go through that. Once you select this, it's gonna tell you, hey, this is used when a module is being removed from the vehicle and a new module is installed, as in the case of our camera up there. What this is going to do right now is gonna take all of the existing data that that camera has, it's going to save it to my tablet and be used later when I reinstall the camera. It's gonna give you a couple options. Read configuration data from the ECU or write it. At this point, all we wanna do is read it because that's the first step. So we're gonna read the configuration data from the ECU. One other thing you may ask, if the camera was damaged beyond communications, what do I do as a tech then? How can I get this module information to the new module after I replace it? Let me show you that. It was one of those options on the screen here. If you go back in a front facing camera, you had another option, manual configuration. This is only to be used if the module is damaged and it can no longer communicate with a scan tool. So then you're gonna have to do it manually. Let's take a look at that. Keep in mind, you will need an internet connection to do this procedure. So what this is going to do is transfer what we call as built data into the new ECU, and you're gonna do it manually. You must have internet access to retrieve it for your vehicle. So we'll press continue. Carefully read the instructions. It's going to tell you that everything needs to be written exactly the way you see it on the as-built data that we're going to show you how to get here in just a moment. So right now it's asking, it's telling you to enter a minimum of 11 characters and a maximum of 24 characters in module number 706. Without actually knowing the as-built data, I'm not sure what to enter for 706. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go back home and I'm gonna show you how to get that data. We'll just come back into this, but we really need that as-built data and I'm gonna show you where to find that. So let's go to web browser. This is another wonderful feature about the ADOS link. So you have some repair information that's available as soon as that web browser comes up. If you select OEM, I'm gonna have an option for Ford on here. That's going to take me to motorcraftservice.com. If you select free resources on here, select quick guides, and you have some information here. As you scroll through here, you will also get the option for as built data. Right here, module build data. We're gonna select that. 
So again, if you couldn't talk to that module and you needed to figure out a way to program it to the vehicle, this is the other way. So now it's going to ask you to enter in the VIN of the vehicle and of course, a verification. So what comes up now is all of our as-built data for every module on this vehicle. And it's very important that you pay close attention to what you're looking for. So if we go down to the list, if we go through the list here, I'm gonna find 706. And I have a couple 706 in here and they all mean something. All of those numbers, all of those characters are telling the computer something different. Whether it's what kind of glass it is, what kind of ADOS system it has, all of that information is found on here. And of course, now I have this information here, I could toggle back to my actual ADOS link homepage and you can kind of go back and forth. Now you could, you could write that out if you'd like to, um, something, you know, you could write it out or you could print it, something like that to get that information. But now that I have all of that in, you can go back into your ADOS link, go back into adjustments or ADOS. So now that I have all of my as-built data, you can go back into ADOS calibration. You can go back into the front-facing camera and go into manual configuration at this point. Now, since you couldn't talk to the module before, it doesn't matter that if you replace the module before or after, it doesn't matter because you couldn't talk to it anyway. So you're gonna have to program it after you've put the new module in. Let's just say a big tree limb fell on it or a branch or something and killed it. So again, you've got your 706. That's the module you're looking for on your as-built data. So the ADOS link even tells you, hey, look for 706. That's your IPMA or Image Processing Module A module. You're gonna select that. And then it's gonna, again, each line must begin with address 706. And on my list, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different, nine, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15 different 706 addresses. And each address is specific to this vehicle as it was built. So again, 076 is my first module. I'm gonna look at each one of these. Might be easier to write it down or it might be easier to print it out every time you're doing this. So at this point, now that you have the correct as-built data for your vehicle, you're gonna go ahead and enter each address as it is on the as-built data screen, line by line, using spaces and letters appropriate to the vehicle that you just looked up. Once you've completed each line of data, the module will be successfully written to the vehicle, and then you can go ahead and calibrate it. Thanks for watching.